Well, when we're working on decks, you know, obviously we use a lot of cordless impact drills, drivers, um, all different brands. I've been kind of stuck on DeWalt for a long time now. I think I just started buying DeWalt, so I just stuck with it because of the batteries. But what I always had purchased, and you find these in all the box stores, is the standard DeWalt 20 volt brushless impact driver. Right? You always got to hit it twice. It's a manly thing to do. This is the DCF 787. Okay, this is one I've gone through. I think this is my third one. And it wasn't until recently Devin had kind of told me about their Atomic series. And that's what I have sitting here. You can see it looks a little bit different. It's a DCF 850. Hear the difference? Okay, we're gonna put them to the test and see which one, in my opinion, seems to work better for people that are going beyond just DIY, doing it at home. These are fine for do at home. I mean, if you're just doing projects around the house, these work great. I've gone through three of them. I've put them through their, I, I'm just gonna say, I put them through hell and they've all lasted a long time. Uh, whatever your perspective of long time is, we're rough on these tools. We run a lot of screws. So, uh, what recently I've got this one. It is the Atomic series, and I and it says on the back here Atomic. I just wanted to show you the main difference between the two. We're going to run some three-inch screws and then some lags, just to kind of show you the power and difference between them. And I'm not sure the longevity of the Atomic because this is new to me and I haven't used it long enough to know if it's going to outlast the regular just brushless 20 volt but this one is fairly new i got this one just before i got the atomic and you'll see what i'm talking about in here a second so let's go ahead and just run some screws i'm going to go with the t25 bit we're going to start with just the standard compact 20 volt i'm just going to run a couple screws into these these treated two by eights Seems harmless enough, right? We'll do one more. Right? It seems like it's a pretty good drill. But now, let's do the same three screws with the Atomic. Same bit, same screws. I'm losing, I got a screw loose. Do you guys hear the difference? If you don't, go back and listen to it again. Listen to how many times the Atomic actually makes that hammering noise running a three inch screw. Did you hear it? Very light. Now, let me go back to this one. Now listen. It's quite the difference, right? It's a power difference. This one's got a lot more torque running that three inch screw than this one does. And it's evident because it doesn't need all those extra hammers to drive that three inch screw. It only needs a couple to finish it off. This one, you get about two thirds, three quarters of the way through, then it starts to need to hammering this. I just think the Atomic have a little bit more oomph behind them. So I do think that with that respect, the Atomic is I don't know, tougher? It's, it's DeWalt tough. But I, I do like that. Now one of the main differences, and I'm gonna run these lags here in a minute, is I do like the smaller head size. You can definitely see the difference. And the only reason I like that is if we're ever in a joist space running structural screws for say like joist hangers or anything like that, real easy to get that in. Now, these batteries are a little bigger. These are three amp hour batteries. So you'll notice that the base is really big. Two amp hours are smaller. This one's, these three amp are longer. So you'll notice that it's kind of bulkier at the bottom, but um, if you put a two amp hour on there, it's not as big for either one. But you just see that just, what a difference. Way more compact. Uh, they both have the belt loop. Everything's about the same. The balance I feel is about the same. This one's more bottom heavy. There's less weight at the top, but driving strength of three inch screws, the Atomic, does way better than there's the regular. If you're doing it on a scale that you're running more than 10 or 15 screws, like us, we'll run 
two, three hundred screws. Probably more than that, honestly, when we're doing hidden fasteners and stuff on composite decking, we probably run a thousand screws. And so after a while, you like to have the smaller, smaller unit with more power. It just makes things a lot easier. But let's try these lags with the 5 16 We'll start with the Atomic this time. Let me get another piece of wood here or two. Okay, we are gonna run a six inch, we call them ollies out here, a six inch lag. And I don't have a timer, but we're probably gonna notice the difference in it running. So let's go ahead and run this one first with the Atomic. Okay, it started, ready, here we go. Sunk in almost flush. I want to be able to take it back out. So that wasn't bad. Now, let's try the standard 20 volt brushless. Ready? It took quite a bit longer. I mean, I, I know most of you are like, well, it was only about a second or two longer but when you're running 50 or 100 of these you know that's a whole minute <laughs> i don't know you say it like that but it's it's less wear on the drill if, if it doesn't have to work as hard setting that screw that's my point it's not about the the whole 55 seconds that you saved running 50 different screws or whatever the case may be i'm just making that up but it was evident that this one had to work harder to set a six inch lag than the Atomic did. So in that respect, I really think the Atomic is the way to go. Go with the Atomic series if you're a DeWalt guy, um, if it's more of a professional basis, like if you're a more commercial, professional, you own your own business and you're doing it every day, go with the Atomic series. Uh, if you're just a DIY, you do a little bit here and there at home, you like to do projects at home, save yourself a little money, you can go with these regular 20 volt cordless impact drivers they're great uh, all the batteries work for all of them so it's not like the flex bolt series you know our, the batteries that are on these will work for these they will work on the circular saws they'll work on the sawzalls the grinders the vacuums it's just the flex bolts are the ones that are a little weird or those new uh, new stacks or whatever they call them i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure on those yet um, but the basic standard batteries that everybody has, the XRs, like this 6-volt, will work on all those. And I, I really like this. I like how compact it is. Um, I'll probably, once these die, which they're getting close, I'm sure, I will retire and not get any more of these. I'll just stick with the Atomic. Or unless DeWalt comes out with a newer, stronger model of these impact drivers. Um, but and and one more thing i wanted to touch on i forgot to say anything you know these regular brushless 20 volt have one setting it's you just go these atomics actually have a one two three so a low medium high setting so the lows i gotta tell you are about as useless as can be because here i'll show you it's like i don't know snails run faster than these screws run using a number one it's, I know on the Milwaukee's it's awful. Like the number one is just awful. I have no clue what anybody would ever use it for, but here's a number one. That's one. <laughs> it's just useless. It's not meant for driving anything. Here's two. Two was pretty good. That one is just not meant. I don't, I have no clue who would use a one. I guess if you were, okay, I shouldn't say that. If, if you were doing cabinet work, or installing doors to where you were putting those screws in, either in the door knobs or the, the strike plates and stuff where you don't want to hammer at home, it just needs to be an easy, easy, light tighten, one would be perfect for you. But anything where you want to drive that screw home, just stay away from one, go to two and three. Um, as far as that, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Hope you liked it, bye. I need like a, a finished phrase, don't I? I need something.